Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I would go about drawing a ladybug design in Inkscape. For this video I'm using Inkscape 1.0, although uh, this should work for pretty much any previous version of Inkscape as I don't believe I'm using any, uh, any features that are specific to 1.0. So let's get started. I'm just going to slide this off to the side a little bit and use it for reference. The first thing I'm going to do is use my circle tool to draw the body. So. I just draw an oval, something like that, and then I quickly draw a rectangle, I can press R on the keyboard, and I'm going to cut that off just about the halfway point. I'm going to use Shift to select both of those, and then I'm going to use Control minus to remove, uh, to subtract the rectangle that I drew from that circle. Uh, now I have the basic shape of the body. What I want to do is give the, the bottom of the belly just a little bit of a curve, so I'll use F2 to go into my node editing tool, and I'm just going to click and drag down on the bottom to round it out a little bit. Um, I hit escape twice to go back to my select tool. And now in this one, this body um, has a bit more height to it. So I'm just gonna click and resize that up a little bit. So it's like that. And we'll just downsize it by um, dragging one of the corner resize handles and holding shift to constrain the proportions to get it close to the original design. And now I'm gonna draw a few circles on the body for the little, for the dots. Uh, I'm just going to draw one over here, hold down control to keep it a perfect circle, and I'm going to give it a black fill. Press spacebar on the keyboard to get back to your select tool. I'm going to resize this again, holding control to keep it constrained to a circle. And now I want to make two more of those, so I'm just going to duplicate that with control D on the keyboard. One up there, control D again, move one down to there, and I'm just going to slightly resize that and resize this one a little bit so they're just a little bit of variation in, in the dot size. Uh, next thing, let's see, let's just draw the feet now. So for doing that, I'm gonna uh, use the Bezier tool. So you can press uh, B on the keyboard or you can click over in the toolbar on the side. And I'm just gonna click somewhere over here. And I'm gonna click, so I've got a straight line and then I'm gonna move slightly to the side, click and drag to create that sort of a little bit of a rounded corner and then another click to give me the basic shape. I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard to commit that. You can see it comes up pretty thin. So I'm gonna use control shift F to go to my fill and stroke dialog box. I'm gonna thicken that up. Let's go with something like six. That's a little bit too much, maybe, um, maybe four, something like that. And I'm also gonna use the join and the cap. Actually, the join doesn't really matter in, the, in this sense though, the cap is what I want to give it the rounded feature there. So again, let's just sort of click in here, hit escape and escape again, get back to the select tool. So that's a little bit thicker than the original, but that's okay. I'm just gonna move that up somewhat into place. I'm gonna duplicate that with control D on the keyboard again, move that down and I'm gonna angle this one. So I'm gonna click on it again to bring up the rotation handles and rotate it something like that and drag it up. And now those are both more or less what I want. So I'm gonna drag around both of them Control D to duplicate them, and then just drag those up to the front. And I'm gonna shift click on the rear legs as well, and I'm just gonna Control G to group all of those together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send them behind the body, so I'll use this button up here, lower selection to bottom. Uh, what that does is it puts those objects to the bottom of the stacking order, so they're now behind the body, that looks a bit better. Maybe I'll just move them over and down just a little bit. Something like that's pretty close. Uh, next thing to do, let's work on creating the face. So we're going to again use the ellipse or the circle tool. I'm going to draw out just uh, sort of an arbitrary circle. I'm not using control to constrain it, so we've got a bit more of an oval shape. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to flatten the top out. So I'm just going to hit control shift C. That uh, turns the circle shape into a path. You can do that from up here too, object to path under the path menu. And now that it is a path, I'm going to hit F2 to bring up my node edit tool, and I'm just going to dra uh, drag that top node down a little bit to flatten the top off a bit, something like that. So let's work on making some antennas here. I'm going to use, again, the Bezier tool, so I'm going to hit B on the keyboard, and I'm just going to basically more or less repeat what I did for the feet. Something like that. Hit Enter to commit that line, and we've already got the film stroke dialog box open, so let's give that, I don't know, something like 2. That looks about right. And I'm going to draw a circle just for the end. This time I am gonna hold control to make it a perfect circle. Spacebar to get back to your select tool. And let's make that a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm holding control and shift to resize this proportionally. 
uh, or to constrain the proportions and also resize it from the middle. So something like that. Let's just put this a little bit closer. That looks like a pretty good antenna or antennae to me. So I'm going to drag a lasso around both things. I'm going to group those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a clone feature on this in case I change my mind on the way that looks later. So we use Alt D. So now I have a clone. So if you're not familiar with the clone tool, I'm going to show you one thing real quick. If I double click the inside the original group, and let's just say I wanted to make this a little bit, uh, sorry, a little bit larger. And resize that. See what happens. This one reflects that change. So the clone will um, always mimic the original. Uh, so that's that's okay for me. I'm just going to drag that one down a little bit. Maybe give it a slight rotation. There we go. Um, this one here, I'll, I'll move back a little bit. There we go. Uh, so let's create the eyes now. Again, the circle tool. Um, in Inkscape 1.0, uh, the shortcut is E on the keyboard, so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to draw a circle over here somewhere, holding control to constrain it to a perfect circle. And then I'm going to go change that to a white color, white fill. Uh, I'm going to hit space bar to bring up my select tool. With that still selected, I'm going to move it over onto the, onto the head. And then I'm just going to resize that to something like that. Now what I'm going to do is this design similar to the what I do with the antenna is I'm going to design one, I'm going to make a clone of it, and then I'm going to drag that over. So I'm not going to actually make this eye twice. Um, so with that selected, I'm just going to hit Control D to create a duplicate of it. Duplicate of it. Hit the black fill, and I'm just going to resize that something like that. And I'm also going to move it up a little bit, maybe make that a little bit larger. Something like that, and then I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm going to give it a white fill, resize it again, and put it up there so that ink, that ladybug is looking uh, just slightly off to our right. Now I'm going to select, drag around all three of those objects to select them. I'm going to group that, and then again I'm going to create a clone with Alt D on the keyboard, and I'm just going to drag that over. Now if you want to create a clone and you don't remember the keyboard shortcut, it is up here under the Edit menu. Under clone, you can create a clone. You can unlink a clone, which is important if you make a clone and then you actually want to modify it so it's somewhat you or somewhat or is unique. You can, you have to unlink that clone from the original before you can modify it. So just remember the the clone uh, options are under the edit menu. Okay, so there's our two eyes. Looks pretty good to me. And now we just need to give him give him or her a smile. So let's use the Bezier tool again. Just going to draw straight across. And I'm going to go back to the first node, and I'm going to click and drag up to create that sort of lower arc. And now I've created a filled path there. I'm just going to give it a, a white fill so you can see. And I will press F2, and I'm going to just drag down on that top line to arch the upper as well. And I'll click off and hit Escape, get back to our Select tool. Now I just need to move the head down onto the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the head components. Press Control G to group them, and then I'm just going to drag that down there. And so you can see it's not exactly the same as my original. This guy looks, you know, bigger smile, maybe a little happier, uh, but more or less that's the the same. So if you want to draw a ladybug in this style in Inkscape, I hopeful uh, hopefully you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching.